Good evening. I'm Luke Litton with your look at sports. San Elizario's Michael Johnson has been the state's best 4A runner all year, hands down. Johnson dominated at state, grabbing not one but two gold medals. He was the 800 meter and 1600 meter run champion. Not only that, but the man didn't lose a single race on the track all year long. And today, Johnson celebrating his scholarship signing to the University of North Texas. Joining us live now is the man himself, Michael Johnson. And Michael, thanks for joining us. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here, sir. It's a very special day for you, obviously. So first and foremost, congratulations. And I wanted to ask you, what made you sign with North Texas? Well, uh, I was really interested in North Texas uh, when uh, the coach came up to me after cross country and uh, at the state meet. And uh, it got me really interested because uh, their uh, the cross country program as well as track program is really strong. And uh, not only that, but their, uh, their, you know, their nuclear, uh, I'm sorry, their uh, engineering program is really well as well. And it really caught my attention. A very exciting. You obviously had a very extremely successful career with San Eli. The medals really speak for themselves. So, what do you hope to accomplish next year at the collegiate level as a freshman? Well, my freshman year, I really hope to go in uh, with high intentions of uh, doing the best I can, um, really helping out the team uh, in cross country as well as track. Uh, I can't really say that I'll go out there and you know win every race, but I will do my best and give it my 100% from start to beginning. I mean, from start to end. Well, I wish you the best of luck on your future endeavors, and once again, thank you and congratulations on signing with the University of North Texas. Thank you very much. I appreciate uh, the time to be interviewed, and uh, thank you very much. Have a good day. Thank you. You as well. And so, as we all know, El Paso is a hot boxing town. Right now, former middleweight titleist Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. may be coming back to the borderland. Chavez Jr. will be fighting Marcos Reyes on July 18th. The battle is set to take place in either San Antonio, Houston, or right here in El Paso. If you remember back in 2012, the fight between Chavez Jr. and Andy Lee at the Sun Bowl was nearly canceled. This was because of higher than normal risks with the large crowds in attendance. BoxingScene.com is saying the new Chavez Jr. fight in July will likely be in El Paso, but that is not been confirmed. And take a look at this. Burgess grad Keandre Bates was the nation's best triple jumper last year. Bates is now at the University of Florida, where he recently placed third in the NCAA Long Jump Championships. And today, he's competing in the Long Jump and Triple Jump at the NCAA East Preliminary Track and Field Championships. We will have his results tonight at 10. And after suffering a torn ACL in 2014, JUCO safety Jordan Fogel has received an offer from UTEP and will be visiting the Sun City June 8th. We will have more details tonight at 10. And that is a look at sports. All right.